Hi guys, my name's Maddie, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get a really nice glowy makeup look using some of my favorite Revolve Beauty makeup products. Starting off with the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew, I always put on a ton of moisturizer because honestly, skin prep is the most important part of having really beautiful glowing makeup. And a moisturizer like this will give you such a nice glow and shine from within. My goal is to basically always look like wet. <laughs> like dripping. I know I'm not the only girl who takes a ton of makeup and skincare recommendations from TikTok. This is actually one that I discovered on TikTok. It's a super goop glow screen and it does have an SPF 40 in it, which is amazing. Don't forget your sunscreen, ladies. It is the key to keeping your skin right and tight. I'm just gonna put on not that much. And this doesn't have like coverage, but it does have a little tint and a glow to it which is perfect for this makeup look. I'm just getting it everywhere, honestly. I mean, honestly, I've seen girls put this on on TikTok and it makes them look like they have glass skin. Oh. I'm putting any leftover on my chest and neck so that we are protected everywhere. So I've been loving this Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. It has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and squalene in it, as well as SPF 40. So this is not only like giving you coverage and some glowiness, but it's also giving you great skincare benefits as well. Be sure to shake it well. I also love when foundations have this. I feel like a scientist. Probably just do that much. It looks light, but it does blend into my skin well. And recently, okay, I've been using my hands to blend in foundations like this, and I find that it just gives me the best finish ever. Okay, looks unreal. It gave us a little bit of coverage, but if you are looking for more, you can always spot conceal. I do have rosacea, so Sometimes I will spot conceal, but today I'm not going to because I want it to be really natural. After foundation, I usually like to brighten up areas like my under eyes and like the center of my face to really lift and highlight. So I'm gonna use the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. I have shade number three, and I'm just gonna use this sparingly to really, like I said, lift and brighten everything up. If I learned anything in 2020, it's that less is more when it comes to concealer. I feel like I always used to like layer it on and do like crazy triangles because Kim Kardashian did it, but now I'm definitely all about the more minimal life. And to blend that in, I'm gonna go in with a little complexion brush and I'm gonna start to work that into my skin. bring some life back into my face. I'm gonna use some of my favorite Nude Sticks products. For a cream bronzer, I'm gonna use Bondi Day, which I have been using for years. This color is amazing. I'm just putting it everywhere. And putting it under your lip will actually make your lips look bigger. And then I'm just gonna use a kabuki brush once again to really easily blend this into my skin. Then I'm taking the shade Sunkissed to put a little rosiness and natural flush right back into the cheeks. I 
I heard that this color was actually made to make it look like you got a little bit of a sunburn, which I like. I think it looks really cute. And I think when you just put it over this part of your face, it can look so natural and cute. I'm gonna lightly set my T-zone using a super goop resetting mineral powder. And it also has SPF 35. So that's amazing, obviously. Um, it is built into the brush. Very convenient. Great for a girl on the go. I'm just setting like the center of my face where I might get oily during the day. And also under my eyes. To add a bit more bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Ilia Night Light Bronzing Powder. I have the shade drawn in, and I'm just gonna take it on a little Charlotte Tilbury brush and dust it on my cheeks. Maybe I'm completely dreaming right now, but this bronzer feels cooling to my skin. One of my favorite tips ever is to take your bronzer on a little crease brush and run it through your eye crease. This will really pull your bronze look all together and you don't need eyeshadow. I'm also gonna use it to give my nose a little bit of shape. I'm gonna go back and over top of the bronzer with a little bit more blush just to add a little more rosiness to the cheeks, which is what I love. And we'll take this Ilia Illuminator, a little stick, and we can use that to really brighten up certain parts of the face. And to finish off the look with some lips, I'm gonna take the Kajur Weiss Lip Pencil in the color Soft, and I'm gonna line my lips. And the best thing about the nude stick sticks is you can use them anywhere, so. I'm gonna tie that back in by putting it on my lips. Here's the final makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and putting on some makeup. Everything I use today is available at Revolve. I really, again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna follow me on my socials, my Instagram is at Maddie Bernard and my YouTube channel as well as also just Maddie Bernard. I hope you guys have a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll see you guys later.